Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, it is time for our next installment of the doctor spell prognosis. Our spell or cantrip for the day, uh, we're doing these in alphabetical order, of course, is Druidcraft. Um, this is not a bad spell. It has a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's only for druids. And uh, it kind of takes the place of like a prestidigitation or um, something like that that a lot of the arcane casters get. Um, I think the, the clerics get the Thaumaturge spell, which is very similar. So it has flavor. Um, it can do some role play stuff. It does have a few like out of combat um, or pre-combat type of application so it's a cantrip it's one action it has a range of 30 feet which is okay it's not great um it's instantaneous it's transmutation and um you talk to nature you can create tiny harmless sensory effects that predict the, what the weather will be in your location for the next 24 hours and you can keep casting this over and over and over again so you can see if the weather is going to change now this is good in case uh, there are actually detrimental effects for weather. So you know, the druid can go, oh, the weather is going to be this. We need to have winter clothing or cold weather clothing or the weather is going to be hot and we need hot weather clothing or it's going to be super rainy for the next 24 hours um, and you know our movement is going to be affected. So this is probably, I think, uh, a good travel companion for a group of PCs to have. Secondly, you can instantly make a flower, a seed blossom, a seed pod open, or a leaf bud bloom. I don't care about that. You can create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect, such as falling leaves, a puff of smoke, the sound of a small animal, or the faint odor of a skunk. The effect must fit in a five-foot cube. This could be, if done correctly, uh, could be used for some kind of distracting effect um, pre-combat. So you could make you know, the sound of a small animal or uh, the sound of a, a wind happen and might, you know, might distract something. And the last one is you can instantly light or snuff out a candle, torch, or small campfire. Cool trick, you know, you snap your fingers and and fl a flame appears or it goes out. Um, so I, this, this last one could be combined with um, control flames. We talked about that earlier. So anything that can can create a fire can can then be used with control flames to spread that fire. So not not a bad spell. Uh, if I were a druid, I probably would take this for the flavor. Um, and that's what I have for you today. So I hope everybody enjoyed.